that. I don't want to break anything either. Create a short. So. It's exactly like this. So it's basically pulling down. There you go. Oop. Oop. Oh, it came back. Alright. So now simply touching it. Let's put it back together. Oh, it went away. Oh, came back. There you go. All right, so that. And this camera, by the way, this is a brand new one. So, I don't know if it's the plug or, oh, there you go, you see? Oh, it came back. And it kind of does this mid-flight as well, obviously kind of annoying all right so this is on my other quad my favorite actually this one this cam has been flying for at least six months with no issues now all of a sudden same idea so hopefully you guys can see this on the video I'm gonna try moving this little thing around oh. Oh, there you go. You see? So it's really in the... It's on this side of the wiring. Uh, where is it? How did I do it? Alright. This is a great example. So now it's getting me nuts. Because it's unreliable so I don't know this one actually was even hot glued and like it's not supposed to move because this thing usually it's it's here in place right? and like besides the obvious impacts from flying the camera doesn't doesn't actually move so it never really moves this thing is should be in place now even if I push it in like it doesn't look fully pushed in it pretty much I can assure you it is it doesn't go any further there and yeah so I don't know yeah and this is all on long range quads Oh yeah, and in all honesty, I mean, I don't think it's on my FC or the PDB, depending on where I'm connected to my, to my drone. But like, you can see here, my plugs, they don't move. This is a Betaflight F3 flight controller. So you see the three outputs here, they're like hot glue, they're not moving. It's not something on this side. It's always on the camera side. Same thing with this build like this one here is a totally brand new build so i really yeah we actually can't really see it but the wiring is like super clean on the fc and pdb side so it shouldn't be that anyways 